Welcome to High Ground, my name is Tanner, and in this video we are mostly talking about the Gamers 8 tournament coming up for Rainbow Six Siege, but also in light of that we have this roster change coming out. So SSG, they dropped Skies not too long ago, and then this wasn't exactly a very well-kept secret, but they are picking up Dexter, or at least they are trialing him for this tournament. So maybe if he doesn't work out, if he plays, maybe if he pay, plays really badly, but I, um, I would imagine the only reason that they don't keep him is if he really doesn't mesh well with them as a team, but uh, by all accounts, I would expect this is going to be the player they will stick with for the upcoming stage of the NAL. So in terms of roles, we'll have to see how the team's gonna look. They've been in flux for quite a while now. Uh, Bosco, I I would have to imagine, is going to be just on hard support as he has been, and then Dexter on some sort of entry, probably first entry, but I guess I don't know that for certain. And then it's it's also not clear to me who will be joining him on entry. Uh, Fultz seems like the most likely, but it could also be Houghton based on what we've seen in the past. So, so really, you know, I. Dexter on entry, Bosco on support, and then the other three, it's it's not totally clear to me how they will be positioned, and uh, one of them probably will be the most support-oriented of the three. That's generally just how teams are structured. I guess you don't need to straight-up support players, and maybe they'll be switching around as the the map, the objective, the strategy calls for. Uh, I just We'll have to see what the roles look like. I just, I just don't know at the moment, but we don't have to wait very long because that tournament is starting up in four days, I think. So let's go on to the, the next thing here. So we knew four of the teams that were going, and now we know the other four. There are eight in total, so uh, four teams qualified, and then these four teams got invited. We have BDS, Liquid, TSM, and Damwon kia all attending the event and and let's move on to the the group so group a group b there are two groups these are double elimination bracket groups so uh, i'll go to liquipedia in a second and we'll kind of look at that and two teams advance out of each group and then they will play in a single elimination four player bracket so they'll just play i guess a two semifinal matches and then a, a grand final and I believe it's all best of three so again there is that lower bracket but just in the group so a little bit curious of a of a bracket structure but I think it'll probably work out pretty well so uh, okay looking at the teams uh, we have Liquid which I already mentioned right uh, Wild, SSG, Falcons, and MIBR were the four that already qualified through the regional qualifiers and we'll actually we'll go to liquipedia to talk about the teams a little bit more so we can see the the players and whatnot so okay it's called gamers eight and i thought the qualifier was called gamers without borders i think it was and maybe that was just a charity thing associated with those qualifiers now they are playing for actual prize money and they are playing for two million dollars uh, in in terms of prize pools so an absolutely massive amount of money and this tournament it's pretty controversial because of uh, where it's being hosted who is hosting it but not really something i want to go into you can sort of draw your own conclusions there so okay let's look at the the teams right so all of the teams are sticking with the same players they've had except for TSM and SSG, both bringing in a new player. So SSG, that is Dexter, and for TSM, that is to be determined. So we don't know who that is yet. Uh, with the tournament starting up in just four days, I would imagine in the next three days we should know. Maybe even in the next day or two. Maybe even today. I don't know. Maybe it just got announced as I'm doing this. Who knows? But okay, you know, they are looking for their replacement for Chala, and I don't know if they will make the same announcement as SSG that they are just trialing the player, if they will just straight up say they are picking up that player. We'll have to see. Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter in either case. Uh, we will see one player at this event for TSM coming in. Okay, so BDS from Europe, and I suppose the, these top four teams are the invited ones. So uh, BDS and Liquid, two of the sort of top teams for quite a long time now, just globally, but they've each disappointed quite a lot. Uh, they've made each of them have made very deep runs in in different tournaments and usually in any given tournament they play and they go pretty deep but uh, they pretty much never win liquid does have a win under the belts from like a long time ago it was like a season finals i think and that was only i think psk and nesk were still on the roster but uh, it was so long ago and a pretty well a different team that you don't really want to count it and then bds uh, you know maybe they are just the uh the most well-known team for falling short. Everyone asked for roster changes, but it's not even clear if that's the issue. So each of them will really be gunning for a win here, I suppose. And it's not the most prestigious thing to win, uh, but in terms of just the amount of money you make, uh, just it's insane. SI has a three million dollar prize pool that it caps out as that it caps out at, and it usually does cap out there. It usually makes it to the cap, and that's split among twenty teams. So. 3 million split among 20 teams. This is eight, this is 2 million split among 8 teams. And I, I want to say the top 8 for SI still take home like 2.3 of the $3 million. So most of it does go to the top. It's very top heavy. And so maybe size that down a little bit. They don't actually have it on here what the breakdown is. I would imagine the first... 
is making maybe even straight up a million. Maybe they're getting half the prize pool, but maybe more realistically, like 750,000, 800,000 uh, second place, uh, you know, maybe like 400,000. For SI, it's, it's a million first place, 450,000 second place, and then it, it decreases, of course, from there. I don't remember the exact numbers beyond that. Uh, okay, anyways, going back to the teams, though. Right, TSM and SSG, if you are a big NA fan or even a fan of either of these specific teams, then maybe you'll be a little bit concerned because each of them are, of course, bringing in a brand new player to play that I, I can't even imagine they have more than like a week or two's practice with. Maybe they will have even less than a week's practice with. Uh, probably they've been playing with them in some regard, but uh, you know, not totally clear how much practice they do have in total. So maybe e either of them will be able to honeymoon phase their way to a victory at this event, but it is a, a pretty stacked looking event, so that might be kind of difficult so you know we'll, we'll see each of these teams are uh, former world champions i guess tsm even the the current world champion team and okay so those are those four and then we have damwon who maybe have a little bit similar reputa reputation to liquid and bds in falling short but uh, they are not nearly as tenured in that regard they sort of broke into the the top tier of the scene pretty recently started going to international events and really impressing definitely one of the best teams in APAC maybe the best team in APAC uh, they did miss out on the most recent major so it's not totally clear but uh, I think most people would say that them and Elevate are the the best teams and I think it's entirely possible they take down this event they only have to outdo seven other teams and these are all teams that uh, either they maybe seem more impressive than or they have just straight taken taken on in the past and done well against and okay so maybe this is their event to win and then we have wild which is a team from eu and they are they're only a challenger league team but they beat t1 teams to get here they took down i think rogue and they outdid heroic and secret i can't remember if they played all of them i think those are the four teams along with wild in the the final four of the eu qualifier but uh, correct me if i'm wrong there and a little bit of revenge against rogue coming out corgan aces uh, formerly being on rogue so we'll see how they do i mean they probably seem like one of the weak links here but they they just qualified it's not like they were invited you know they did earn their spot here and then mibr they they very often miss out on going to events but when they do go to events they usually do pretty well specifically at the uh the two most recent si's they got what double top four finishes something like that very impressive once they get to the events but just for some reason they have trouble making the events very often but no they are going to be here so maybe this is their event to take down finally we have falcons which is a uh, mostly saudi arabian team one player from jordan have to imagine this is the weak link team they don't play in any of the top regions and they don't even live especially close to any of the any of the uh the teams that play in the top region so they probably aren't able to reliably scrim any top teams so we'll have to see you know maybe they will impress but i i sort of do imagine that they are going to be the the weakest least impressive team but uh, maybe based on expectations you know maybe they can impress in that way so we'll have to see i and i also imagine the teams that ended up in their group are very happy to have ended up in their group and uh, so we'll see how they do um i guess that does it for the teams right and we talked about the prize pool the dates i can't remember if I mentioned the 4th through the 7th, that is this coming Thursday through Sunday, and it doesn't say when each thing is happening, so I I would imagine maybe it's the group stages are just the first two days, and then the maybe the semifinals are on the third day, and the grand final is on the last day, but it does say all matches best of three, uh, top two teams from each group advance to playoffs, single elimination bracket for playoffs, double elimination for for group stage, and so I guess let's just glance at the bracket. So yeah, they're going to be seated into this, I guess... I don't know, Liquipedia doesn't have the info, intel on how, on who's playing whom at the moment. And then finally, uh, they will be seeded into this, just the, the four teams, top two team from each group, and then they will, they will play. And then the two winners of that will play in the grand final, which again is seemingly best of three. So no need to consider any sort of map advantage because there's no lower bracket for, for the actual playoffs bracket. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. So... I think the team, the, the thing that I'm looking forward to the most at the event, and yes, international play is always fun to see, but just for me personally, I'm looking for to see how well TSM and SSG will do with their new player. Each of these teams has struggled quite hard. They did really badly this last stage, TSM in eighth place, SSG in ninth place. And realistically, I probably they won't even qualify for SI unless they do it through the last chance qualifier, unless either of them or both of them or whatever make it to the major, and probably they even need to do quite well at the major. I guess SSG did get a good chunk of SI points the, the first stage, but they got none this stage. TSM doesn't has like very few, so again, yeah, probably to make it to to SI via points, they will have to do it by by uh, making it to the, the next major. Of course, not the major that's 
already set up but the stage three major and then doing quite well at it maybe even winning it I, I don't know i haven't run the numbers or anything like that but that's the thing i'm looking forward to the most but of course you know these should all be some really good matches there is a again maybe not a ton of prestige on the line they're not playing at si but they are playing for so much money that they certainly want to win so okay i guess i guess that's it for the video so if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to leave them below and a, a like in the subscription would be appreciated and so with all of that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video